Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Sky Talk. This is Daniel, and today I'm just going to run through all of the components that go into my FPV kit on the Phantom 2 here. I'll talk about the camera, it's mounted to the body, my gimbal, um, antennas, monitor, and a few things on the interior that uh, we'll pull the shell off and look at. So the first thing that I'll get into is my camera, which I have right here with a pretty beefy Zomi ND4 filter on. So the whole reason I even got an ND4 filter is because I wanted to reduce jello and see if it would change the color of the photo at all, just to be, uh, you know, more natural or better, whatever. And I it did both. I see good results, and I definitely recommend the ND filter. So underneath that, we've got, it's a Hero 3 Plus Silver Edition, rocking a 5.4 millimeter lens. So the whole point of that lens is to make sure we don't have any distortion. So as you guys know, and I'll put a video example on the screen, is that when you pan the camera up and down, especially on the gimbal while you're flying, you get that really curved horizon. And I just hate the curved horizon. So that's why I went with the lens. It was really easy to remove the original one. I still have it right over here, and I can replace it at any time. So as you can see, this looks super stock as it is. So I'll do a video on that in the future, just showing you you know, maybe where to get it, how to install it, some tips for that. For now, let's move on to the Phantom. So what I've got here is a completely no solder option. And the main point of this video is to show you guys the no solder option. A lot of people are looking for that like I was, and I'm just so happy with how this turned out. Uh, I recommend it to everyone when I'm on Reddit. I'm always posting, hey, check this out. Uh, this is what I work with. I, I really love it a lot. So we've got the standard H3 3D gimbal. Pretty much everyone's using that or the prior version, the two-axis version. Either one is great, operate pretty much the same. Coming out of that, you'll see that instead of plugging into my Phantom with that wire coming out of the body, I'm actually going straight over to the FPV hub, which... Let me pull this up closer. Which the FPV uh, hub came with the cables so that you could hook all of this up together so harmoniously and so cleanly. So the FPV hub sitting right here, stuck on top of the IOSD Mini. And I'll show you that IOSD Mini. You can see all of these are made by DJI. That's what's so great about it. And then with that big honking blue antenna sticking off of it is the AVL58 Lite. So that's the second generation of the DJI video transmitter. It's a lot lighter, doesn't have a built-in fan. It's um, just just very small unit. I've gotten it to transmit over uh, it's about 1,500 meters. I'm not really a big distance guy, so I haven't really maxed it out. I'll do it in a future video, but just for what I do for fun, more taking videos and stuff of things that I can visually see as well. So I haven't maxed that out yet, and that was with these blue beam antennas. So I'll pull that antenna off. And this is Video Aerial Systems Blue Beam Ultra Air Screw. And over here on my receiver, I've got, came as a set, this is the Mad Mushroom. So I believe this is a, like, uh, honestly, I'm not sure. I can't remember exactly what it looks like on the inside. It's been a while since I looked it up. Okay. Those are my two antennas. You can see the video transmitter. I just have it stuck down right in the middle of these two. And I've got it anchored with a zip tie onto the IOSD Mini just in case. I don't know. I don't want to lose... If, some, if this falls off, the IOSD, it's not going anywhere. Look how many things it's connected to. All of these are. So it's really not an issue, but I, I put it there. Sorry, I'm looking through the viewfinder. I, I put that there. I have the uh, one cable from the IOSD running internal, and then I have this going internal. So those are the only two cables that run away from this central uh, setup here. I also had the CAN bus, which I needed to take off the leg and put internally, which I'll show you in just a second. But that is pretty much how it looks. Very clean. 
I've got that cable actually running in the hole where the gimbal motor is. It was unbelievably tight to squeeze it through this mounting bracket. And what I did was I have it coming up right there. It's this right here, this black cable. And that's the CAN bus that was attached to the leg. So these are running internal now. I switched out the cable, brought it up. It's just laying here now, which is totally fine. Not a huge deal. I put the anti-interference board where they suggest to with the pre-mounted, pre-screwed uh, pre holes. So that fits just perfectly right there. And that's pretty much the extent of it. Uh, just super clean setup here. Put that down again. And then as far as my uh, monitor, it's a Boscam monitor, and they actually have the model right there. It's the RX LCD 5802. So you can check that out. It's like 130 bucks. Uh, I got it instead of the Black Pearl only because I got some recommendations for it, and the price was a lot cheaper, so why not? Works great for me. Beautiful picture. Um, I'm not going to power everything up right now just because I'm indoors, but I'll have plenty of videos in the near future showing you guys exactly how this monitor works. This is more just about purely the hardware, how that's going on. So hope you guys learn how to set up your quad. If you've got any questions, just go ahead and ask me. I'll give you a quick, quick last look at that FPV hub in case you are wiring yours up at the moment. So we've got the Zenmuse gimbal, all these cables are different sizes, so they only fit certain ones, plus they're labeled. So for instance, over here it says gimbal. Try and focus. It says gimbal, so that cable goes straight to the gimbal. Then we have this one, goes to VTX, video trans, uh, transmitter. This one's coming from the Phantom, which is just power, I believe. And then we have this cable over here, which comes straight out and then straight into the IOSD. So that's all it is. Let me know what you guys think of my setup. Let me know if I should try any other gear. Always trying to uh, try new things and review them. So I'll catch you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe and post a comment below. I'll reply to them all. Have a good one. Peace.